This year has been a crazy year for me, and I want to give a special thank you for those of you who followed me along for this journey. I wanted to share some of the things I've been working on this year, as well as some goals I have next year. I've also done some personal deep reflection of what has been holding me back and how I want to change for the upcoming year. But I have some major projects, some major goals for next year. I'm really excited. And even looking back at this year, although I didn't get as far as I wanted with my YouTube channel, I did achieve a lot of really cool things. So first, a quick recap of the year. To start off, 2021 did not look too good when it comes to analytics. I started the year off pretty good, but then my channel actually declined to lower views than the previous year, which is generally something you don't want to be doing on YouTube. You actually want to be getting more views than the previous year. It's crazy, but unfortunately that's just the way it went because I didn't post consistently and I didn't post enough. I think I did post good stuff. We posted a 28 part Linux series, which we also put into a three hour video. We released some bash videos, a few Python videos and AWS videos, and we reopened our Python bootcamp course. So yeah, we definitely did some work. And another big part of this year is we did a blockchain series on this channel. And this kind of started a different path for me where maybe I got distracted or, or something, but I created a new YouTube channel where I started posting crypto content as I didn't really want that to be on this channel because I wanted it to be more news oriented and not so much technical stuff. So that channel blew up in a good way and then it kind of died stopped really doing it basically i burned out i was posting too often <laughs> and we're back to square one but for this channel i started crypto mining both graphics card mining hard drive mining helium mining all kinds of other mining projects and i learned the ins and outs on how mining works mining pools different cryptocurrencies and so forth. And this opened up an opportunity to team up with some top-notch devs and actually build a cryptocurrency mining pool. So we created pool.space, which is a Chia farming pool. This is a fairly new cryptocurrency. It went into mainnet this year and they are built on a new consensus mechanism, proof of space and time. And this was designed by the creator of BitTorrent and is designed to be a greener, more decentralized blockchain compared to the main blockchains out there, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. So now we manage a Discord with nearly 40,000 members and have over 40,000 farmers on this pool. And this has been a really awesome project to be a part of. And I was doing crypto and Chia videos practically daily on this channel for a while, but it just wasn't sustainable, at least not for me. I know there's some people out there on YouTube that are just like, bang, 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 making videos three times a day, but I just could not keep up on the content. And I've dropped down to more like once a week videos on that channel, and that seems to be doing okay. But really, I wanted to get back to my original focus, which was programming and technical content. Plus, just as like a side note, the response from people on programming videos versus cryptocurrency is wildly different. I post a video in programming and people really love it. In crypto, it's a, it's, it's kind of a bloodbath. No matter what content you post, people <laughs> are so much more emotional in the comment section. So I could post a really great video and people be like, wow, this sucks, you deserve to die. So just for everybody's well-being, I dialed down the cryptocurrency content and have been focusing more on growing my technical skills. But throughout that whole process, I lost sight of my original goal for this channel, which was to grow in 2021. So I managed to do all these other projects and do pretty well with those, but I lost sight of my original goal and really what got me to where I'm at in the first place. So the lack of consistency has prevented me from reaching my full potential. This is not just a problem with my publishing schedule on YouTube. It's actually been a problem for a lot of of things in my life where I just can't seem to balance. However, there have been periods in my life where I got this focusing and consistency thing down and I did it consistently for a long period of time. So an example of this is when I learned C programming, which is kind of a more difficult language to learn. I studied it for one hour a day before school when I was in college. And you're probably thinking, wow, an hour, so difficult, woo. But an hour actually adds up. And when you focus for just one hour, that tends to be pretty good focused time. After the first hour, 
every additional hour becomes less and less focused. So you're getting the most focused juice in that first hour and you do that each day over the course of a year, that's like 365 hours or the equivalent of working full time for nine weeks. I didn't do it for a year because I didn't need to use C programming anymore for school, but I did it for a while and this actually helped me really establish my programming skills in literally just an hour a day. I think I learned more in that hour than probably the rest of the day in computer science school. And it also has to do with the timing of things. I gave my first hour to the C programming stuff to studying on my own. And then I gave my less focused brain to everything at school. So if I did the hour at the end of the day, it might have been a little bit different. But that's just what I thought was the best use of my time. When you do something consistently, even if it's just an hour a day, over time you make massive progress. And that's what I want to change with this channel next year. I want to do it consistently. Maybe not post a thousand videos in one week, <laughs> but maybe post two videos a week every single week for the entire year. And that is the schedule that I want to stick with and I'm sharing with you so you guys can be prepared. So I'm hoping to post on Mondays and Thursdays. And I want these videos to be pretty good videos that aren't just, you know, five minute quick tutorials, but a little bit more substantial usually. In addition to this, I'm picking up my weekly newsletter again, so I'll be posting that out once a week on Mondays. So if you want to get the inside scoop of what's going on in my world and what projects I'm working on, you can subscribe to my newsletter. All the links to all the important stuff is in the description, so you can check it out there. Now, I'm not perfect, and it's not my first time committing to something and failing, but this is really important to me for the upcoming year, so I really encourage you guys to come back and visit for the new videos on Monday and Thursday so that we can get into a rhythm and we can stay in sync. And that'll help both of us because you'll be continually learning and I'll have continual uh, pressure to get that content out on time. So if you've enjoyed my content and you want to help me grow this channel, that is what I ask of you. Just come back and watch my videos each week. That way YouTube knows People are still watching my stuff and I'm posting regularly so they know I'm still alive and everything will be great. Now you might be wondering, oh, what kind of content am I posting? I'm not sure if I just want to watch random stuff, you know, Bash Tutorial 78. Well, I'm going to be creating videos that are more standalone so you can watch, learn something, and move on to the next project. There might be some smaller series, but in general I want the videos to be pretty standalone. So you can come and learn a good concept, practice the code if you wish and then come back later for the next video. I'm gonna be focusing a lot on backend stuff, so some Python development, web development, database stuff, AWS, as well as some front-end stuff for consuming APIs and all of that. But more technical, less design and user experience. So in general, I'm gonna keep my content fairly consistent with what I've done, but I might try to make it a little bit more project-based and a little bit more practical. We're also probably going to do some stuff with source control and automation and some other cool projects as well. Now, I'm not just pulling stuff out of my brain. I've been systematically going through material planning a course that I hope to launch next year, and that's going to be all back-end development. So if that's something you think would be interesting, I am giving away the notes for the course early access so you can see the progress and this will allow you to help contribute ideas or see where this course is going because I'm still in the early stages of it so there's a lot more I need to go through so if you want to take a part in that I'd appreciate that you can check that out below so I have a lot of different goals and I'm pretty excited for 2022 next year I hope to achieve everything I did this year and more but more consistently so let me know what you would like to see how you think this channel could improve. We uh, really are looking for good feedback and I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Bye.